so I knew the plan was to do a lot of work and originally it was supposed to be an exhaust video on the weekend but I guess we're doing an exhaust video today Christmas came early Christmas came early really early you guys we just spent an hour and a half like hunting down gaskets gaskets <laughs> because Bruce we love you we love you Bruce but god damn you didn't have no gaskets <laughs> so we needed the he sent us two crush gaskets, but we still needed the gaskets for the flanges. So now we found the gaskets for the flanges and the, the two on the top of the J-pipe and the one that connects to the muffler back or uh, well, where the cat used to meet the resonator. We also have that. So we're about to start installing these bad boys in. And uh, the mufflers are upstairs on the porch, but you ready? And we're gonna be cutting the back on too. Oh yeah, we gotta cut the back bumper to fit the ports because you know quads and stuff. I think that should be just about it. We'll hope so. Well, even if it isn't, if it's a little snug, you still got that type S rear lip. Yeah. Well, I actually like I was legit last night measuring this. So I had the exhaust and everything in my room, and I was like lining it up to like try to measure and cut. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this will be fine. Because it, it already almost fits in this section. Listen, listen, listen. Even if it doesn't, we'll make it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you guys, so I'll update y'all in a bit. So, I think you guys know, uh, Terrence's car is not on the road yet. And you might ask yourself, so why are you rushing to do the exhaust, right? Well, I'm going to show you. Just in case you didn't pay attention in, what, two videos ago? Yeah, like two, three videos. Two, three videos ago? If we come under the car, right? So, this is mid muffler, resonator, cat. But do you see that? Where his cat is? And the pipe that's supposed to go to it? Yeah. That's broken. That's cut. And that's why we're rushing to do the exhaust. So, uh, yeah. Let's get it. Coming around the corner looking like Santa with some gifts. My gifts. <laughs> those, those are some beautiful ass tips. Yo, you got a beautiful ass tip, man. I know. <laughs> tip game strong. Tip game strong. Let's see it. Oh, 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 oh. He's got it dirty. It's alright. Mm. You guys see it. Just wait for it. Put it in. Put it in. Oh, 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 it's tight, it's tight, it's tight. <laughs> that literally took like 10 minutes. Not even. Probably seven minutes at most. But like I said, you guys, cut. That there's supposed to be more pipe right there, but it, it was cut. Um so literally we just slid it off the hangers. And uh, just kind of kick the muffler. The yeah, the hanger part's rusty as fuck. So we just kicked the muffler back, and it came right off. Pulled it out of the back of the uh, the car. And now it's uh, time to go tackle that J pipe, dude. After the resonator, there's literally no bolts that hold the exhaust in. It's all rubber hangers. I'm recording here. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, cool. Let's go uh, tackle this hard-ass J-pipe with your broken bolts and whatnot. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, guys, we ran into issues. Studs are broken off the pre-cats down to the J-pipe. Looks like we got to make a trip to Acura. Ready to go to the Steelers ship? <laughs> I feel defeated. <laughs> I feel defeated. So, basically, the car's been sitting for so long that the bolts or the studs that go from the pre-cat down into the top of the J-pipe, they're rusted in place. Bolts snapped. We went and got new OEM studs. And, uh, just not working out 
think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take out the pre-cats. And uh, in order to do that, we need a lot more time. You feeling defeated? <laughs> so yo, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop this video here. You know what? I'm just gonna call this uh, to be continued, and uh, we'll see y'all in a few days. Nope, it's way too tight still. Josh, where are you right now? Ah. Uh, so, you remember the exhaust we were trying to get off? Well, parents are getting pre cats. And in order to do the pre cats, we gotta take the old cats out. So, to get to the rear cat is a pain in the ass. Quite the bitch, you would say. Woo, I don't think they came out right. And, uh, this is the best spot for me to get it. I got ass in my face. He got ass in his face. You got sketch all over yourself. He's sketchy as hell. Stepping right on the motor. Yo, honestly though, it's got a new mount. Took it off a radiator. <laughs> yeah, but the, but the side mount's blown to shit, so we we, we being kind of sketchy with this one. Yo, this shit's a pain in the ass. If you want to change your rear pre-cats, get a shop to do it. It's dark as hell, y'all see this shit? I've done worse. But we're idiots, so we, you know, it's okay. Yo, how's Terrence getting those pre-cats? Where's he getting them from? He's getting them from daddy, apparently. Go fund me. <laughs> go fund me. <laughs> go daddy, go fund me. Getting them from endless RPM. Yeah. Endless RPM pre-cats. It's pretty much gonna be a whole endless no, exhaust. No, they're not endless RPM Oh no, they're, they're, they're RV6 pre-cats. RV6 pre-cats. Endless RPM stocks them. All right. There he is. So, RV6 to endless. All up and in there. All up in. The hair on your arm is almost see-through. <laughs>